Alright, I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. Classic. There we go. S tier. S tier. S tier or Realm Reborn. Hmm. Shit, who did I put in? Fuck. Alright, I know my A tiers. Infilia. Thancred? No. 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 Right. Fail boat. A realm reborn. Tataru. B tier is Alize. C tier a realm reborn. Ida. Papi. Thancred. No, Thancred's even lower. In a realm reborn, Thancred was here. For sure. For sure. Uh Uh, Moon Breeder is yeah. Moon Breeder is up there. Yeah, Moon Breeder is S tier. She's in it for like twenty minutes. She kicks ass. She takes some fucking names. Uh, Ish is S tier. A Realm Reborn Alphano is fucking C tier. A Realm Reborn Alphano is C tier. In a Realm Reborn, that's how it was. I don't know where RJ lies. He just provides information, basically. He's just a MacGuffin man. So RJ would be B tier. I've got to move Alfie back. Yeah, Alfie's lower. Yeah, for sure. Alfie's way lower. Alfie's uh, Alfie has the worst. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm under no illusions. Alfie has the absolute worst introduction of any of the scions. Like even Alize seems disgusted that he's present. In every cutscene. But he, he gets some benefit towards the end. Because he actually starts joining in. Thancred is just garbage in Realm Reborn. Tatsuru is just garbage as well. For sure. What did ARR ish even do? She's the rock. She's the absolute rock from start to finish. She is. She's the rock. Papi was B tier. Papalimo spends most of a Realm Reborn correcting Ida for being a fucking dumbass. Like, that is 99% of his involvement in A Realm Reborn is correcting Ida's stupid fucking suggestions. Like, the second she opens her mouth, he's just like, well, that's a really stupid fucking idea, Ida. Let's not do that. Right? Let's not do that at all. So, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Alice gets beat here because she's not in it for most of Realm Reborn, but the Coil storyline and then the uh, the finale with Alize is really, really good. That's That's A Realm Reborn. Yeah. That's a realm reborn. But it changes. It changes. And that's what I was saying to Noble. Like it changes really quickly. It changes really quickly. It does. Right, so F. <laughs> F <laughs> F. Uh alright, so Right, Uriah J drops because I mean he's the most untrustworthy motherfucker, and he's fail boat. Yeah, he's absolute fail boat. That's a roof fail boat. Alfie stocks ri rose massively. Alfie stocks went up big time. Uh, F. Alize moves up to S tier for sure. F. Uh, I mean, no, he's in it, but I mean, he's he's useless, so he doesn't do anything. Yeah, these two just say C tier. They just pop in. Uh, Kryle, always S tier. Always S tier. Alfie goes up. Rianje, Tatsuru are down here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Alice is just constantly fucking great. Uh, Ida and Papi down there. Who am I missing? Anybody? Estenien? Okay, Estenien is A tier. Yeah, I mean, he's not a scion, but he moves up. He moves, he's, he's good. He's great in Heaven's Ward. He's absolutely great. He's really good. Uh, I would put a cell there as well. Yeah. Yeah, Harry Boulder. I mean, he's in the class above S tier on every single list. Oh, Thancred. Uh, Thancred is also failboat. Yeah, Thancred is also failboat. So that's how it changed for me going into Heaven's Ward. Right? Heaven's Ward did this for me. 
for sure. I, I sense the character, right? We're talking about the Scions. <laughs> I need to finish the game before it. Like, if Emmerich was here, Emmerich would be S tier as well. I, I mean, you, I, you, you guys have probably seen the YouTube video. You've probably seen the YouTube video, but like Heaven's Ward is Emmerich's expansion, and it was it was dope. It was absolutely fucking dope. Like Emmerich, I mean Emmerich starts a Realm Reborn, like C tier, because not only does he not want to help us, but he also needs a favor, and they played him really stoic and nasty. And then by the end of Heaven's Ward, he's like S plus plus. Stormblood. Now this is where it gets fucked up for me. This is where it starts getting really fucked up for me. So, <laughs> this is where it, this is how it progressed for me in general, right? So by Stormblood, the top list stays the same. I would even then move Alfie to S tier. Alfie came into his own in Stormblood. Uh, F. F. I mean, we could do, realistically, pre and post MSQ. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because that's that's not fair. Uh, but so I'll just... This is on the end of Stormblood. This is the end of Stormblood. Lease becomes A tier by the end. The biggest mover... I absolutely fucking detest what they did with Istenian in Stormblood. I absolutely fucking detest what they did with Istenian in Stormblood. I hate it. I hate it so fucking much that they turned him into this absolute plot convenience. Yeah, it's just fucking awful what they did to him in Stormblood. I cannot stand it at all. It well pissed me off. Like, just having him randomly show up whenever it's convenient and then just disappear. <laughs> F. F. All right, we're getting kind of top heavy here. We're getting kind of top heavy. Uh, full agree. Yeah, some people might like that he does what he does in Stormblood, but I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Right, Uriad J does rise a little bit to C tier because he, he just turns up in the middle of the desert with that magic dildo and he's like, hey, while you were doing your stuff, I just fixed everything, uh, which is great, right? And of course, wait, cannot be forgotten. I, I believe it's an official... I believe we, we did... If, although we joined the Ironworks, official... I think that's... He became, I think in our eyes, he's an official Scion. Right? I think in our eyes, he's an official Scion. Now! <laughs> as of right now. As of right now, though. And this may change, obviously. As of right now, God, I hate this. Well, I, I can't, I can't be bullshitting. I think Alfie's down a bit. I haven't seen him do much really. I mean, Alfie should be lower down. He spent a year outside Yulmore and didn't get in the door. It took me five minutes. Uh, Estinian is up. We haven't seen him doing much yet. Ernirianje is up. Nobody's in the failboat category. I actually believe that as well. So far as Shadowbringers, I don't think anybody is in the failboat category. Uh, Reen, uh, I mean, Reen is probably B at the moment because, I mean, she's she's basically a, a light sensor. She's basically a light sensor. Is it R-Y-N-E? Reen. The Exarch fucking... Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Honestly, fuck that guy. Right? Honestly, fuck that guy. 
I fuck that guy. <laughs> really fuck that guy. <laughs> I can't stand him, Mr. Vagary. No, he won't tell us anything. He won't even tell us his fucking name. Fuck that guy. He can literally transport us across reflections. He can move things through time. He's got some sort of STD from somewhere. And he won't even tell us his name. And we're just like, oh, okay, we'll do whatever you want. Like, <laughs> he moved the Crystal Tower, for Christ's sake. And we haven't got any information. Oh, where's Emmett? Uh, I mean, I don't know. In terms of how much I like his character, he's A tier. But, I mean, I wouldn't trust him with a 10-foot barge, barge pull, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust him. Ardbert? I mean, he's a pervert. He's C tier. He can't even help. He's a, he's a perverted ghost spanking it every night like he's not done anything yet like he's literally not done anything besides tell us how miserable he is he hasn't he hasn't done anything he just wanders around like i feel sorry for him but like in the way you feel sorry for like a three-legged puppy you know you're like oh well like there's not much more to it than that you know what i mean the man is literally dead? Exactly! So how can I rate him as a useful member of the Scions? I don't think I can. At least Edgy Salad's given us some background and history. I mean, he's got some credentials, right? If I was to look at the resumes, let's say I'm... I'm interviewing for the job of being a Scion. Edgy Salad comes in. Genocidal maniac on the one hand, but on the other hand, Asian can travel between reflections. Knows a lot about history, right? Got good information, good solid information. Has powers which could prove useful to us. Then Ardbert walks in, through the door, is dead. Can't help. Doesn't really know much about history because he was just a warrior of light, which is basically a marine for us, right? We don't really know what the fuck's going on. We go wherever the quest tells us. Failed in his duty. His planet's destroyed. Was so useless that Minfilia didn't even want his help. And is a uh, peeping Tom. Who am I going to hire in that situation? Right? Who am I going to hire in that situation? There you go. That's just facts. Oh, the trolley? <laughs> I mean, the trolley's up here, right? <laughs> you've got S++. Then you've got the moon. Then you've got <sighs> heaven. Then you've got heaven plus plus. Then you got the trolley. Right? In there somewhere. Right? It'd be something like that. I think that's pretty fair. But jokes aside, jokes aside. Shadowbringers has completely messed me up. It's pretty consistent up until Shadowbringers. It's relatively consistent how I felt about a lot of the Scions. But the biggest changes have also been Tatsuru and Thancred. Like, Tatsuru has a bit more to do. Yes, she did make a phone call. However... That is her job. Let's not forget that. That is her job. Uh, whether she deserves tips for doing her normal day-to-day -day job that she's already being paid for, we'll say. But it was a good decision, so she's moved up in the world. Uh, Estinian has crawled himself out of the fail boat. Yeah, it hasn't actually done much yet that we know of. Ryanje, kind of building trust. Moved up a tier. Kind of building trust. We spent some time with him now. Not bad. Uh, actually working out pretty well. Well, Thancred has been the biggest change for me. Uh, Thancred, is, Thancred was honestly one of the worst characters as far as I was concerned for one, two, three. Three versions of the game. And now he's up to A tier. But will there be the ultimate payoff with him? I don't know. But that, that scene, I think that yesterday, that duty that you do with Thancred uh, against Ranji was one of the most well put together solo experiences I've seen in an MMO. Like, as a solo story experience, that was really good. Like, so much better than what they did with Xenos. You could feel him failing. That was great. Although, obviously, you're going to win. If you suspend that gamer knowledge, it, they did it so well where you genuinely feel like maybe he's going to lose here. You, you had that doubt in your mind that maybe he's going to die here. This could be the end. And it makes sense now why they built Ranji up to be such a badass. Um, through all the beginning of the game was leading to that point. Where it's like, okay, Thancred, because they, you need to instill in the player, Thancred can't win. 
that was what they were doing they were putting it into your mind as thancred cannot win this fight but you will try and you will do what you can do uh, i think it worked off i think it paid off really really well uh i, I like that i liked everything they did with that yeah xenos is really terrible in his solo instance he's awful because you could never lose to him uh and he never felt like you were trying he just walks slowly like you just move and you like you've outplayed him right <laughs> you just move slightly and you've outplayed him uh which is a real shame because now they've shown this is a great contrast of how you do these scenes correctly because and it needs the story build up without ranjit's story build up it would have been nowhere near as fun but the way they build it up is you had the doubt Bankred might die here because he shouldn't be able to win based on everything you know. But you can put it down to, he, he, you know, from Infilia, Marine, he, he did everything. It was good. Yeah, I think they probably learned, which I've said time and time and time and time and time again is Squeenix's number one ability to shit all over Micro Activision Blizzard Bethesda. They respond really quickly to player feedback. They respond so quickly and improve, improve that's the important thing they don't just change shit for the sake of changing shit if it's working like the dungeon design which they nailed in stormblood they fucking nailed the dungeon design in shadowbringers it's just the same because it works it's fine it just works so they just kept it like that what didn't we like didn't like the way i i mean i assume other people felt the same as me xenos was kind of a bitch <laughs> He was supposed to be the big thickness. He had the thighs of power, but you kind of just fucking ruffle stomp him every time you talk to him. Uh, it's not fun. So they fixed it. They changed it. All good. So that's where we stand as of right now. Uh, <laughs> whether or not I'll save this. <laughs> I'll save this and see if this changes by the end of Shadowbringers.